we'll guide you through how to restore your iPhone from a backup on your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you need to connect your iPhone to your Mac. So I've got one end of the cable in my Mac and then I'll plug the other end into my iPhone. When you go and plug your iPhone into your Mac, you may go and get a pop-up on your Mac and your iPhone asking you to accept and allow the connection and also to go and trust this Mac. If you get them, you'll need to go and trust or just accept them. You probably won't get them if you've done the connection before though, I didn't. And then open up your finder in the bottom left and then scroll down on the left here until you get to locations and you see your iPhone. Go and click on it and it will take a moment to load the information. Then click on general and you want to scroll down to backups and on the right here you can then click on restore backup. You'll get this pop up saying choose a backup to restore to this iPhone and you can click on the drop down menu and see all the different backups you've got. So I did one today which I want to go and use but you may have an older one you want to use and have it selected and then just go and click on restore. And before we get any further there's a setting you need to change on your iPhone so open up settings and scroll right to the top and then click on your Apple ID and iCloud account and you need to go and turn off find my. So click on find my then click on find my iPhone at the top and then switch it off like so. You will need to enter your Apple ID password and then click on turn off at the top. After it's been turned off, then click on restore on your Mac like this and you click on erase and restore. So just remember everything will be removed on your iPhone and it's now starting the erasing process. So on your iPhone, you're gonna go and see an Apple logo with the bar going across like this. So just wait. And after it's done the erasing process, it will then start the restore process. Your iPhone may disappear from your Mac, but it will still be in locations. And on your iPhone, it'll go and say hello. And you can then swipe up on it like so. And it will say restore completed. T tap on continue. You need to choose a network. And you can then go and set up Face ID if you want. I'll set it up later though. And you can then create an iPhone passcode. And you'll need to sign back into your Apple ID as well. Your iPhone will then sign you back in. There'll be a few more settings you can choose and then you can go and open up your iPhone like that and your apps will be re-downloading. So that's it. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.